What's going on everybody? It's Chris, your resident senior developer advocate at DigitalOcean. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up auto scaling for your app when you deploy it to app platform. Check it out. All right, here we are in the DigitalOcean console. And in this walkthrough, we're gonna be using this app I built called US Aquariums. It's built with Next.js, our managed MongoDB service, as well as Material UI. It uses search and filter functionality in React to search through a small list of US aquariums. So you can search by aquarium name, you can search by city, and you can also search by state. So this is what we are going to use in this walkthrough. Now you might be asking yourself, what is auto scaling? What does that mean? Well, auto scaling is a powerful feature that allows you to automatically scale your application components horizontally based on CPU utilization metrics. It's pretty sweet. All right, let's click on Oyster app right here because this is the app that we are going to configure. We're gonna click on settings. Now for this application, I'm just reconfiguring the scaling piece of it. If you were to start this from scratch, you'll be presented with these options and things to choose based on your use case. So as long as you follow along with what I'm doing here, you should be good to go. So in this case, I'm gonna click on US Aquarium Search, which is the component. And right here you can see the resource size is $5 a month, 512 megs of RAM, one virtual CPU and 50 gigs of bandwidth. We're gonna edit that. So we are going to change this to a dedicated instance. And I wanna make sure this is clear. You can only use auto scaling with a dedicated instance and they start off at $29 a month and they go all the way to $392 a month. So for this example and this walkthrough, I'm just gonna choose the $49 a month plan. I'm gonna make sure to check set containers to auto scale. Now, this option and by default, it's gonna give you minimum containers of two, maximum containers of four and the CPU threshold is gonna be set to 70. So what that means is you're going to start off with two containers and if the traffic increase and the influx in requests goes over 70%, it's going to scale up to two more containers. So you'll have a maximum of four containers handling that traffic. For this example, I'm going to change this to one, I'm going to change the max to two, and I'm going to change the CPU threshold to 20. And you'll see the pricing change as well. Let's set that minimum container to one. Let's set the max containers to two. And then we're going to set the CPU threshold to 20%. We're going to save this. It's going to deploy a new app with those features and functionality. Awesome. Now we have the app deployed. We can go back to overview, see that our health check is available. We are good to go. So now we're gonna run a load test on this. And for this load test, we are gonna go over to the terminal and I'm gonna use a tool called Hey. So we're gonna type Hey dash N, which means the number of requests. We're gonna pass in 20,000 and then we're also going to pass in the URL of the app that we want to send all the requests to. So once we do that, we'll hit enter and come right back. All right, let's pop into the insights tab to see if auto scaling is working. And it looks like it is. Some of the stuff on the graph is from earlier today, but that's all right. Let's hit refresh. And you can see that we have the two containers right here, the blue and the green. And right about that 20% mark is where that second container spun up and the workload was distributed. Pretty cool. And now it's getting back to normal as that influx in traffic comes down. All of that stuff is coming down now. There's no more traffic to the site. So it's going to even itself out and it's going to go back down to just one container. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. That wraps up the video on auto scaling in app platform. I hope you found it entertaining. Hope you found it enjoyable. Hope you found it educational. Auto scaling is a pretty powerful feature and as long as it fits your use case, it's a must have. Catch you in the next video. Peace.